Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to show you how to complete the side quest Masked Correspondence here in Dragon's Dogma 2, so let's jump into it. Now the requirements to start this quest are a little questionable. Most of the articles online say that you need to complete the main quest Seat of the Sovereign, as well as the side quest called the Ornit Box. But for me, I didn't even do the Ornit Box side quest and I was still able to get this. So I would say most of you really just need to focus on story progression and doing the main quests. Uh, doing Seat of the Sovereign is probably going to be the important one to this and also just letting some time in game pass because to start this quest we're going to need to speak with Sven who's going to be located in his room up in the palace. Now if you don't know how to get to Sven's room we're going to show you how to do so. When you make your way to the palace we're just going to go to the right side and sneak in that back door that you've probably already been in several times. Do make sure that you have the marcher's armor on so that you don't get detected by any of the guards. But we're going to go the same way that we normally do to get upstairs. And once you get to the top of the stairs, we're just going to continue to go straight all the way down to the end of the hallway. And if you take a right right here at the end, this is going to be Sven's room. And you can see him standing in here right now. You'll also be able to see it on the map once you're inside the building and go upstairs in case you get lost. And once you make it to Sven's room, we're going to interact with him, start the dialogue. He's going to eventually ask us if we'll do a task for him and we are going to accept. Once you do so, he's then going to give you a letter to give to Lord Patrick at the Masquerade. But before we can go to the Masquerade, there's a couple items that we're going to need. Now, the first item that we're going to need is the Eventide Mask. And to get this, we're going to head over to the Star Drop Inn in the middle of Vernworth and speak with Brant. When we speak with him, we want to start a quest called the Stolen Throne. And to do that, we're going to select the option that says, Tell Me of the Masquerade. When you select that option, you're going to get a lot more dialogue, but he's also going to give you the Eventide Mask, which is what we're going to use to sneak into the Masquerade. The last item that you need is the Courtly Outfit, which if you were to buy would cost you a little over 300,000 gold, but we're going to show you how to get it for free in about 30 seconds. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the town of Vernworth, and we're going to make our way to the Noble Quarter on the southwestern side. You guys are going to see on your map here, there's a place called the Comptroller's Home. We're going to go inside of this house, and the entrance is going to be on the western side. Now, once you make your way over here, we're just going to be able to go right through the front door. And once we go through this front door, you're going to see some stairs straight ahead. We're going to go up the stairs and take a left. And as we get to the top of the stairs, we're going to, going to go into the first door on our right. Now, once you guys go inside, you'll see right over here beside the bed is going to be the courtly tunic. Now, once you pick that up, go right back outside the door and take a right. There's going to be another room at the end of the hall here. We can go inside of this room. And then right over here beside the bed, we're going to have another item. This is going to be the courtly breeches. You can go ahead and pick those up and you'll have the courtly outfit for several of the quests uh, here in the game. Now that we have the items that we need, it's time to go to the masquerade. To do so, we're going to start by sitting on the bench that's outside the palace and passing time until it's night. This isn't going to happen during the day, so you do need to go in the middle of the night. Now, instead of going towards the back end of the palace, as soon as you walk in, you're just going to go to the building that's on your right. There should be a guard standing outside and make sure to change into your mask as well as your courtly outfit before you go in or the guards will be suspicious on why a guard is going into the masquerade. Now, once you go inside, all we're going to be doing is looking for a guy with a blue cape. There's going to be two people in here wearing a mask with a blue cape. We want to go for the guy that's not wearing the animal mask. One of the guys with a blue cape has an animal mask. One of them has like a thieving mask. We want to go after the guy with the thieving mask. Once you speak with him, we can give him the note. He's going to read it and send us on our way. Also, don't worry if you send give the note to the wrong person, they'll let you know about it. And also, if you make your way to the masquerade and they say that there's not a masquerade tonight or no one's inside, just go back outside and rest and pass time until the next day and then keep doing that until it eventually is happening because uh, I ran into that issue as well. Now, the last thing we need to do is go back up to Sven's room and inform him of what we've done. Don't forget when you leave the masquerade to switch back to your marcher's armor so that you can make your way through the castle without getting spotted. Just important there. Put your disguise back on, make your way back up to Sven's room and speak with him. You'll get a decent amount of dialogue. And once the dialogue is finished, the quest will be complete. But this is how to complete mass correspondence here in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.